Hello, how are you two doing today? Hi, we're hey, good. Jay. How are you doing? I am so excited to speak with you about this movie that I watched twice in a row because it was just that damn good. <laughs> yes, now, Andrew, what I loved about this is you got to tell not only one great love story, but two great love stories, but also the story about the friend group, the family, that chosen family. Was that important for you to include in this film? That was the main reason I wanted to make the film. You know, I got the script for Fire Island a year into the pandemic. I wasn't able to hang out with my chosen family, my friends. And so to see that in the script, how much the script celebrates chosen family, how it celebrates queer Asian American friendship, like that was super exciting to me. Um, and I love that, you know, we have these two romances that are super different, you know. Um, you know, there's something in it for everyone. We've got the super romantic one, and then we've got the super jaded one that's uh, probably not gonna be in a monogamous relationship, <laughs> but still fulfilling, yeah. you know, and that these two characters, you know, like have their own way about thinking about love um, and, uh, you know, relationships and sex, but that they can be friends with each other, you know, that like, you know, even though they're both you know, queer and Asian American, that they're actually super different. And we show off the range of, you know, our perspectives and our experiences. And so this movie just had so much that I was really excited to tackle. Well, I, I, I love that. I think that's a perfect answer for this. Now, Tomas, you have a great character with Keegan here. I love them. I think they are so, so interesting. Was that a bit of your personality in that character? <laughs> or did you just get to make up a whole new human being there? It's somebody completely different, girl. I don't know who that person is. I never met them. <laughs> no, Keegan is truly Tomas to a T. <laughs> that is so good to hear. Uh, you could feel that. It felt like a, per I feel like, to like Keegan was that character we all know, that friend that's just like, I love you. I need you in my <laughs> life. And I love that character. Also, you got to be part of a great movie musical part as well, getting to sing a little. Britney Spears, now I have a question for you. We have things like Mean Girls and Priscilla. What is your favorite movie musical moment like that? Oh my God. Well, I mean, you just said Priscilla and that's the first thing that comes to mind, honey. When, that, when, uh, when, um, when he's on the bus, when Felicia's on the bus, girl, just singing that opera song, that's it. That's Mine is usually uh, Body Beautiful at the beginning of Tu Wong Fu. Oh, oh uh, my God, song. yeah. Picketing, honey. <laughs> Then RuPaul comes down, honey, dangling from, from the string. <laughs> now, Andrew, you got to depict the LGBT community in a very real way. Were you ever a bit hesitant about des describing this in such a candid way with the partying and things like that? Because this is going to get sold to a pretty white mainstream audience. No, I think um, Joel Kim Booster wrote a really, like, uh, uh, profound screenplay that doesn't shy away from the fact that, you know, uh, racism and classism that exist in the greater world, like, it happens in the queer community too. Um, and so we really have to, to deal with that. Um, you know, we have to confront it. Uh, and I think that this film, you know, uh, says like this exists, um, but we can be strong together. You know, you have your chosen family, you have your community, um, and that's how you can, um, you know, find joy, uh, you know, even in the face of discrimination. Well, that's perfect. And I love that. Thank you so much for speaking with me, you two. I hope to see a Fire Island 2 electric boogaloo soon because <laughs> I need that very much in my life. No, thank you guys so much. I keep telling my friends to go watch Pride, Prejudice, and Poppers because this is what everyone needs. <laughs> um, so thank you guys. I can't wait to for everyone to see this uh, coming up Pride season. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you guys.